When you're printing with bi or tri-colored filament, sometimes you'll want to line the color transition up perfectly so it changes exactly where you want it to. Fortunately, there is a fairly easy way to do this by using a calibration disc. All you have to do is drop it onto your build plate, select the print settings you're going to be using for the main print, then hit print. This should only take about 20 minutes to do and you'll need to do this whenever you load the spool. That said, it only uses about 3 grams of filament so it's not like you're wasting a lot. Once it's done, we can have a look at the disc and it will show us exactly where the color transition will occur. I found that using a small divider helps you decide exactly where you want the transition to happen, as you can check either side of it to see what it's going to look like. You want to use the indented markers as opposed to the raised ones, as the indents line up perfectly with the raised notches on the top surface and make aligning much easier in the next step. Once you've found the spot, bring in your 3D model, make sure it's centered, scale it down so it fits inside the disc, and rotate it to the mark you found on the disc. So I'm gonna be using this mark here, so I'm rotating it to that mark on the slicer. Just be aware that rotating your print is gonna change the location of the seam, rotate it too far, and the seam is gonna end up on one of the sides or even the front, and that may not look desirable. Yes, you can always try and paint on the seam or just use different seam alignment settings, but I need the seam to blend in with these hard edges of the model at the back, and none of these options will work easily for this. On some spools, I need to add quite a lot of rotation to get the transition to the right spot, but I also need the seam on the back. So if this happens to you, just rotate it as close as you can to the spot you found on the disc, while still keeping the seam in a desirable spot, and that should be close enough. So once you're happy with everything, scale it back up to the size you like, and hit print. Then once it's done, you can enjoy your perfectly transitioned silk PLA print. If you have any 3D printing questions, I have a free Discord server you can join, where you can meet other makers, share ideas, and even make some new friends. I'll leave a link below. Also, my Dragon headphone holder seemed to be really popular with you guys from my last video that teaches you all about Silk PLA. So if you want to print it out for yourself, you can head over to my Patreon page. Anyone who signs up to the commercial tier will get the print for free, along with instructions on how to print it. Hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching.